Hi there. In this video, we're going to cover some of the settings in Hunchly, some of them we've covered previously, and we'll also show you how to import and export your settings so that your team members can share them or so that you can just back them up if uh, you have a, a default set of settings that you really like. So let's jump into the settings menu here and we'll talk about them. So again, we mentioned this before, but the on and off by default just means that when Hunchly first starts, will it be turned on and ready to capture or not? By default, it's turned off and anytime you save your settings, that is pushed over to your Hunchly Chrome extension. So you'll have to remember that. You've seen this in previous videos. The highlight selectors, again, we've covered. We'll just briefly go over them again. When you highlight selectors and it's turned on, it will capture the highlighting in Hunchly in all of its captures. Um, if you leave it with on but remove before storing, it will strip the highlighting out before storing in the, in the actual um, full page content. Or you can turn it off so that there's no selector highlighting at all. Now the page freshness is in minutes. And what this means that if let's say we browse to google.com at 12 o'clock and we browse to google.com a couple of more times in, in 10 minutes after that, um, it will just keep updating the exact same capture over and over. Now, after 30 minutes, we will actually create a brand new fresh capture of that page. So depending on the type of work you do, you might want to set this higher or lower or tweak it a little bit, but it really does give you the ability to kind of set when you want new page captures to be caught. Okay. The number of results is the number of results in your dashboard. So you can set this to 5, 10, or 25. By default, it's 25. So this is when you're paging through your history or other areas of the dashboard. That's how you make that setting. Okay. Attach downloads. This again, we covered in a previous video where we discussed how when you turn attach downloads on, any downloads you do through your Chrome browser during an investigation will automatically be added as a case attachment. If you turn it off, you'll have to add attachments manually. Okay, so everybody's going to have their own preference. I tend to flip this to on. All right, so let's talk about the blacklist management. The blacklist is a way for you to tell Hunchly do not capture content on this domain. So let's do a little test here. We can actually add google.com, for example, as a domain that we don't want any captures to be done. So let's just go into our main page here and I'm just going to go to google.com. Okay, we'll go back here. So you can see it did not capture google.com and that means for the entire domain. Now, the reason why we have this is so that you don't accidentally, for example, capture your banking information. I know that people do do investigations on their personal machines a lot of the time um, or other websites that you don't want to capture. Now you can also, for example, add domains or specific URLs to your blacklist. So let's say, for example, we wanted to only blacklist uh, this particular URL. So uh, Mark Zuckerberg's Facebook page. So you can right click and go in and say either add domain. So that's going to add all of Facebook to the blacklist, meaning nothing in Facebook will be captured. Or we can add the URL specifically to the blacklist. So just the URL. So this would mean that we would never capture facebook.com slash Zuck, but we would capture any other facebook.com URLs. So let's just go in and see what that looks like in our settings. All right, so we can see that we have facebook.com slash Zuck and this little check mark is saying this is an exact match. So we wanna match the exact URL that we see here. And same thing, if we wanted to add an exact match here, we could do that by just checking that box beside the domain. Okay, so very easy, nice way of dealing with blacklisting URLs or domains that we do not wanna capture. Default to do items, again, just to recap, these default to-do items, anytime we create a brand new case, we will automatically now have two to-do items, do a Facebook search, do a Google search. You can add as many as you want or remove them. So it's a nice way to kind of create that, that default list. Same with default tags. This will also create default tags in every new case that you create going forward in the future. And if you saw our previous video on building reports, the organization name is kind of your police department or your company name that you want in your reports and your organization logo. And when you click save, of course, as I mentioned again, this will push all of those settings to your Chrome extension, which depending on this setting at the top may turn it off or on. So just something to be aware of. Now, what we can do is we can export and import the settings. So if I wanted to create a backup of my settings, I'll save it to the desktop. And let's say that you have to uh, re-image your machine every once in a while, or you've uh, bought a new machine and you're upgrading and you want to bring your settings back in that you really like in Hunchly. Very easy. Click import, find that settings file right there. 
click open and it's going to import those settings for you and you'll be off to the races with everything that you had including your logo your reporting name all this stuff will come back into your settings panel if you have any questions or you run into any trouble dealing with any of these areas in the settings panel please let us know send us an email support at hunch.ly